So here's the current state of the Carlson uh, recycling area and the lamp shelves. You can see there's just all kinds of stuff up there. There's no labels up there yet. So I've got some uh, boxes here for small fluorescent lamps, but they're not labeled. So what happens? The lamps end up down here in buckets where they're not safe, not where they should be, and not uh, where they can be picked up. A bunch of stuff down here. There's some electronics down here because there's no place. You see here there's cans and bottles, paper. But there's no place for electronics. There's no place for ink cartridges. I think there's an ink cartridge right up here somewhere. And then there's some cans, chemicals, wire. Again, there's no place for any of this stuff. Um, marker. So this needs to get labeled. I got. Uh, this shelf here, I'm going to move that. Now that right now, that's supposed to be where the finished uh, boxes go, but uh, what I want to do is take these shelves here. You can see, let's see, you can see up here, see how high that goes, and that doesn't need to be that high. So if we can take these things and lower them down so that we can get a shelf down here, so like a couple shelves down across here, then we won't need that anymore. We'll just put some, some braces here, put some shelves there, and that'll give us room for, we can move these boxes over under here so that people can fill up the smaller, uh, smaller boxes here for the smaller lamps, and the long lamps can go up here, and then we'll have one shelf down here for the finished boxes and then instead of having you know the shelves way back here because you can see with this bin in the way you can't actually walk back there so even if you knew that's where the lamps go you can't really get back there easily so if you can't get there easily you can do this easily and that's what people have done and then of course there's batteries mixed in here lights mixed in with the batteries more chemicals um, so this needs to be sorted out and there needs to be a little system so that people know what to do with the batteries um, We've got a bucket here we can probably use for the batteries. We've got a couple buckets here that we can use for the batteries instead of using these small ones. These small ones are just the ones that we should have out on the floor for customers to put batteries in. We have the these bigger ones like this or like this, which should have a top, and that can be where batteries go so they can get picked up by the hazmat people. So this is a mess and we need to fix it up. So first thing to do, move those shelves down, find a couple more shelves and some braces there. And we can get this sorted out, we get this sorted out, we can get this shelf moved and this shelf will go outside here so we can use that for the uh, microfiber like we have set up in the other buildings. And then uh, we'll have some room here on the floor where we can probably put uh, the battery things. And then uh, let's take a quick walk out here. You can see where the microfiber is. So we've got five, microfiber bells, we don't need that. So we put that shelf out here, which we'll put here. We only need two microfiber bells. And then we're gonna have room over here where we can put a couple more of those large bins for large bins like this, recycling bins like this. We can put some bins out there for the cartridges and for electronics, since there's not enough room in here. Usually there's a couple bins here for more paper because these will get filled up. Um, but if we can get some bins out there and then we'll have a place for well, like I said, for the uh, cartridges, for the electronics, so that stuff doesn't end up on the floor. Um, a lot of these these cans are probably just recyclable cans. If they're hazardous waste, there's another place, there's another building where those things go. It looks like some of that might be hazard, hazard, hazardous, ah, can't speak, hazardous waste. So uh, I'll have to let people know that that needs to be taken to another building where we actually have a hazardous waste uh, room to dispose of that. It's got everything I need for the microfiber barrels, got some wheels and pickle buckets, we put a false bottom in, got the shelf, got the legs over in Carlson Dock, got a uh, bin for the mesh bags, got my signs made up, some zip ties to put those up, and a mallet to put the shelves together, everything I need. And I've got the five barrels reduced to two. One for towels, one for mop heads, 
and I have a shelf here for when these get uh, full, they can just be put on the shelf so they can get picked up. And then a bin here for the mesh bags, the empty bags, and then a sign for this shelf, and then the instructions here. So this is much easier. I took one of the uh, bins and turned it into a plastic bag recycling bin, which you're gonna put in a different room because uh, sometimes when people drop off the bags here, they'll drop off the uh, towels, they'll bring it in a, in a bag and that bag is wet and we don't want wet bags in here, we only want dry bags in here. So I'm gonna stick this in the recycling room where the paper is put. So that's usually where these bags come from, which when people bring paper, they can just dump the paper out into the bin and use that bag and put it in here and that can get recycled. So, so it's got much neater now, and out of the way. So now we used to have the one barrel, we had this barrel actually with the bags in it. So this is a compost area. You can see it says compost down there. So I've got this here and I've got some extra room here. So we're gonna try to get some big uh, rectangular bins for um, electronics and for ink cartridges because we don't have a place for those in this building. I've got the microfiber set up and I have two bins here, one for used ink cartridges, which I put here yesterday. You can see they've already got some ink cartridges on there just like they're supposed to. And then I just now brought the electronics bin here. Um, anyway, this is all just in time. You can see, then look at how that looks, much neater now, easier to figure out what's what. Got all the signs there to explain everything, instructions if necessary. I'm coming to the recycling room. It's a little bit cleaner now, but you can see this just appeared today. Um, reuse stuff, which does not go here. So we probably need some signs in here to explain where all the other stuff is, since we have some recycling outside of this room. So this is, this room is just recycling. So we've got the dead lamps, we got cans and bottles here, we got paper here, and then uh, plastic bags here, and then batteries down here. But we have uh, reuse area which is outside of here and now we have the cartridges and the electronics which are outside of this room so we probably need some kind of signage in here maybe up here where these signs are uh, to explain where other things go so that they don't get left here and somebody else has to move them